One day, I was um, in the middle of this competition working out, and it was Friday afternoon when the gym was open. So I was down there, and uh, the guy who locks up and everything said, he said, if you want to stay a little longer, um, that's fine. Just I'll lock the door, and you can just leave. I said, well, thanks, and I'll continue working out. What I didn't realize is that they were doing some work on the outside of the gym, and they had barred the front doors. There was a big, thick thing across, and you couldn't even open the doors. And there was another door led up to the gym. It was locked from both sides. And there was an exit door from the, from the gym. It was locked from both sides, again. So when I finished my workout, I opened the door to go out in the hallway, and I tried all three doors, and they were locked from the inside, and I couldn't get out. So um, I said, well, I decided to just continue working out as long as I could. And after a couple more hours, I think my workout that afternoon was about four or five hours, and it was, I knew I, it was getting towards sundown, and they would have a Vesper program, and I think, well, after Vesper, somebody is going to come walking by, and uh, nobody did. So uh, I said, okay. There was a fire alarm there, so I broke the fire alarm, and the thing, pooed, it was it loud, man, it about deafened me. And I figured, well, somebody's going to be here within 10 minutes. Half hour went by, an hour went by, nobody came. And by that time, I, I, I found some cloth in one of the drawers in, in the gym there and tried to plug my ears, it was so loud. Um, and it, it just was, you know, it drives you crazy after a while. And I couldn't get out, I was trapped. And t the next day was Sabbath, and no one would be coming to the gym. So uh, I said, I've got to try something. So I got a, found a screwdriver and a hammer in one of the drawers. And I went to one of the gym, his office was right next door to it. I took the hinges off the door. The door came crashing down and put a big gash in my leg. And uh, then I found that there was a window leading to the outside, but it was one of these windows where you can only open it so far. You know, it's got a hinge on it, and there's no way I could get out of the window. So I decided to just wait there until somebody would come by, and uh, a man was walking his dog, and I shouted to him, and uh, so he came up, and I told him, go up to security, tell them to come down here, I'm locked in the gym. And so they did. But to this very day, I still have, not students, because they're all gone, but faculty who come up to remind me the day I was locked in the gym, working, I couldn't get out. And uh, the newspaper, the school paper, captioned it with, uh, Peterson is Houdini, he escaped from the gym. Um, but anyway, I suppose you could say, you know, that's dedication. You, you, no matter what happens, you just keep working. So it was, uh, it was quite an experience. But um, my workouts are now more sensible. I don't, I don't do that kind of a thing. <laughs>